I think this is a key for the issue we're talking about here. Uh, competition is, from my mind, not a process where you're trying to get away with someone else. It's a way of getting everyone up on the track and being able to be there and try different solutions. Uh, we just mentioned mobile phones. Um, uh, I think two things could be said about mobile phones, which I think is relevant for the discussion here today. The first one is the more philosophical. When should you buy a mobile phone? Now or in four months? <laughs> because in four months you all know that there will be available better mobile phones. The Zeno's paradox, right? Yes, You'll yes. never get one if you go down that No, line. exactly. It, it is a problem. <laughs> it is a problem. But on the other hand, if you buy all the mobile phones you will have for the future, yes. at one time you will be stuck with the wrong technology. So, so this is an interesting thing. And the second thing about mobile phones is that we are today moving from around 2 billion people with mobile phones to rather rapidly, in one or two years' time, 3 billion people in the world connected with mobile phones. I think this is an important reminder of how rapid the development is and, of course, how rapid it can be. I think, and all of you here knows this uh, probably better than me, but also the rapid development of technology is much more giving advantage for, on a relative basis for distant and rural areas than for urban areas because, for example, wireless, I mean, of course, it's very good in the central part of Stockholm, but it gives opportunities in another way to the rural areas of Sweden or wherever we are, in Europe or on the globe. Uh, I, think, and I think this is striking. A lot of people are talking about the need for more rapid uh, development of the um, penetration of broadband and internet, but at the same time are very much talking about the control. And uh, when I was doing the report for European Parliament about broadband, I noticed that there is a very important correlation between those countries who have opened up for competition and those who have still strong incumbents or monopolies. Uh, and I leave it to you to think who were lagging behind. Uh, and I, I think is the more control you want, the less speed you will get in the development of internet. And I, I would say to just short two things about uh, those things. The first one, the one should then be, I have three points, don't. Don't do as it has been done earlier. In, uh, in Europe, if I may come back to that as an experience, it's quite interesting. The Central and Eastern European countries that did never really develop a modern fixed telephone system, they are now going for mobile systems much more. And they are basing themselves much more on mobile systems. So the paradox is that, relating to this discussion, they are getting a more modern structure than in the, so to say, saying the bad word, old Europe. Uh, and, but on the other hand, what I find is a strong risk is that you dig yourself too deep into the present technology. I think being open and the neutrality of technologies is, of course, crucial in this sense. Uh, the other thing that I would say about don't, uh, and this is uh, dangerous to say at such a conference as we are here, but don't think about internet all the time. Because internet is not internet. This is a very problematic phrase. <laughs> but internet is the services and the content. The education, the trade, the financing, uh, everything else. And I find that sometimes we are thinking too much about the technology and too less about the benefits of different kinds. And I think when you're calculating in remote areas, if you can see more to the benefits of different kinds developing the country or developing the region, you will have a different calculation. But if you're at the same time secure that you will have openness and more actors, more operators, you will get a speedier development. I'm quite convinced about that. Every pattern we look upon, and we, when we compare rich countries to rich countries, and poor countries to poor countries, we have opened up the market
for local solutions, local cash flows, local entrepreneurship, you have a better development than when you try to control it or force it through via central political decisions.